It's party time on the Four and Fork YouTube channel today because we're making a recipe from Brunei called chicken satay with peanut sauce. We're gonna marinate our chicken, put them on skewers, and grill them on the grill, and then dip them in an awesome sweet peanut sauce from Brunei. I'm gonna be showing you how to make it from start to end right now. To start off, we're gonna clean the main ingredient. So I have two and a half pounds of chicken here. Chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And I'm gonna lay each of them out onto my cutting board and kind of trim most of the fat off of them. And then we're gonna cut them into one inch cubes. So you're not gonna be able to get all the fat, which is okay because the fat holds a lot of the flavor in the meat. So it's okay if you leave some of it on, but just so that nobody's chewing on anything that they don't wanna be chewing on. We'll trim some of the fat off and then we will cut them into one inch cubes here. Now that this chicken has been chopped so beautifully, it's time to make the marinade. So I have one half cup of coconut milk in here. Now what I did with the coconut milk is it comes in a can and I got the coconut milk in the can. It comes with like clear coconut water on the bottom of the can and then it has a thick section of coconut cream at the top of the can. So what I do is I open the whole can. I use a spoon to scoop all of it out, the water and the cream, and then I use a whisk to whisk it together and I take one half cup of that. So that's what's in this bowl. I have one tablespoon of brown sugar, <laughs> and one tablespoon of lime juice, two tablespoons of soy sauce, a teaspoon of curry powder, a teaspoon of chopped garlic, one quarter teaspoon of ground ginger, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, and then one tablespoon of fish sauce. And this you can just find in your local grocery store most of the time. It's pretty easy to find in the Asian section. And I'm gonna do one tablespoon of fish sauce. And then all we have to do here is whisk it up in this bowl. I have a plastic bag here resealable bag and I'm gonna put all of my chicken pieces into this bag and then I'm gonna pour the marinade in with it too. And I'm just gonna put the marinade and the chicken pieces that are marinating into the fridge for probably about three hours. You can leave it up to overnight, but I would say three hours is probably the minimum that you should let it marinate in there. So the chicken pieces are in. Pour the marinade in as well. And I'm gonna seal it up and leave some of the air in there. Seal it up really, really tight. Make sure no liquid can get out. And then I'm just gonna kinda move it around, smush it around, make sure that all of the chicken pieces are coated in the marinade before I put it in my fridge. Looks good to me. We'll come back and check it in a couple of hours. Brunei is home to one of the most expensive amusement parks in the world and the most expensive in Southeast Asia. It cost $1 billion to build the amusement park and it's called excuse my pronunciation, Jerudong Jir Park. Welcome to my backyard, everyone. We have taken the four and fork outside and we're on the barbecue grill here. So I marinated the chicken for about three hours in my fridge and then we skewered them out here. So like I said, satay means three times stacked because we st stacked three pieces of chicken onto each skewer. I also took a brush and I just brushed olive oil onto my barbecue grill here because sometimes when you marinate chicken and then you put it on the grill, if it's, um, if you haven't done something to kind of guard your chicken against sticking, it tends to stick a little bit. So I brushed some, bar um, some olive oil onto the barbecue grill and now I'm just laying my skewers here and we're gonna let them cook. So some of our chicken skewers seem to start being done. So we cook them for about 10 minutes on each side, rotating them halfway in between. Keep an eye out though, because sometimes your grill, like mine right now, will have some colder spots than in other places. So some of them will cook at different rates. So just make sure that you're checking them periodically. Um, I, sillyly, sillyly enough, always ask for affirmation just to make sure that my chicken is done. So I'll look at it, I think it looks done. I always have one other person look at it just in case because I'm not in the habit of killing people with salmonella, so. Um, all right, 
It looks like most of these are done, so I'm going to start taking them off the grill. And then we'll get to go inside and pair them with some peanut sauce that we're going to make. The land of Brunei is very, very rich for oil production, and that's how Brunei makes most of its money. So actually only 2% of the land in Brunei is used for agriculture and farming. So a lot of the meat and the vegetables that the country eats has to be imported from other countries. So Brunei owns a cattle ranch in Australia that's bigger than the entire country of Brunei, and that's where they get most of their meat from. So we have those beautifully cooked chicken skewers, but we need the best part, which is the peanut sauce. So I have one third cup of peanut butter in this bowl. I'm also gonna add a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon of soy sauce, a teaspoon of freshly ground ginger. And the way that I freshly ground this ginger was I took ginger root and I used a spoon to remove the skin from the ginger root and then I just shredded it on a cheese grater from there. So two tablespoons of fish sauce, and we might need to add more later depending on taste. So we're gonna taste it and then we're gonna decide if we want more um, fish sauce after. I'm gonna put about a half teaspoon of chili paste in here because I, as we all have established on the Foreign Fork YouTube channel, am a bit of a weenie when it comes to spice. However, if you are stronger than I and you want more chili paste, by all means, put more in there. I'm gonna whisk this up and it's gonna be pretty thick because we have some peanut butter in here with a little bit of liquid. So I'm gonna mix it up just to combine the peanut butter with the liquid and then I also have some water here and we're gonna keep whisking this, add a little bit of water every time until it gets to a consistency that we really like. Not yet. All right, add some water in here. I think it's probably gonna take about a quarter cup of water but we'll put it in little by little because you can always put more in but you can't take it out if you put in too much. It's nice and thick. Now also, I'll just let you know too that as you make this peanut sauce, the longer you let it sit, the more water is gonna absorb and it's gonna get thicker and thicker the longer it sits. So don't make it, if you're gonna make it really far ahead of time, make sure that you add a little bit of water in before you serve it. And I, to be honest with you, I used the processed peanut butter. Um, and I have tried this both ways. I tried it with all natural peanut butter. And I know that that's the natural, the way that it's normally made, but I like the way that it tastes better with the processed peanut butter. So I actually made it that way with this one. And I'm normally an advocate for all natural peanut butter, but in this recipe, I like the processed kind. All right, my peanut sauce is ready and now it's time to put it all together. It is time to try our skewers. I'm so excited. Okay, I have all the meat pushed up to the end of this skewer. This is my peanut sauce right here. I'm gonna dip in a little bit and eat it off the end <laughs> like a savage, okay. Mm. I'm so excited about it, it's so good. And that was a really big bite. <laughs> You guys, I love this recipe. It's so flavorful, like there's so much flavor in the chicken. I love the peanut sauce and it's an awesome barbecue, nice day out recipe. I really want you to try it. Please go to my website, www.foreignfork.com slash chicken dash satay and the recipe will be there for you to try at home for yourself. Thanks for stopping by and I will see you next week. So if you all are really liking these videos and you want to see more of them, then remember to just hit the subscribe button down there and then that way you can make sure not to miss anything else.